Hi guys, it's me, Melena, and excuse my bare face, but today, if you saw the video, we are going to be doing a get ready with me for winter ball, winter formal, whatever you guys call it. So, my winter formal isn't until like February, mine's really late, and I know a lot of you guys already had yours, or yours are coming up in the next coming weeks. So I'm going to put up this video for you guys, and I don't think I'm even going, so this video is really for you guys. And I'm going to give you guys an eye look, my dress, and my shoes, and I don't know if I'm going to do my hair or not, just because I don't have a curler, so I'm probably just going to have to flat iron it like I always do. But yeah, that's for today's video, so I don't think I have anything else to say, so let's get started. I'm just going to put my hair back because... My hair is just not coming with me today. I have a lot of new video ideas coming out soon, so like I'm planning, but like I don't know what you guys like, but I'm planning on doing everything that's in my closet video, outfits of the week, um, definitely something with Case soon. So let's moisturize her first. And today we're going to be using some different products because I feel like you guys are getting bored of me using the same makeup routine in every single video and then changing up like a little bit. So we're going to use completely different face products and all that. So to prime our face, I'm just going to use the sample size of the Benefit Professional. Next, we're going to do my eyebrows. And you guys have seen me do my eyebrows like a million times, so I'm just going to quickly do them off camera. I just use the Anastasia Dip Bra still. Alright guys, I'm back. I finished my eyebrows. I cleaned them up with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So now we're going to get started on the eye look. I'm just going to put tape on my corners of my eyes because I am going to do eyeliner and I want it to be sharp. So, let me do that. So now I'm just going to, I should have primed my eyelids before, but I'm doing that now. Today, I am using a different palette. I know a lot of people don't like her right now, but we are going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. This is the eye one, and I'm not going to waste my money. Like, I already bought it, so might as well keep using it. And we're also going to use the Morphe um, 35OM Matte Palette. Mine's kind of broken, so... And I'm just going to take this shade in the corner right here and put that all over my eye. So now we're going to go in with this blending brush and we're just going to use a transition color right now. So we're going to go in with this brown right here. And then I'm going to take this darker brown color and put it more directly into my crease. And this just deepens up the look a lot. Now I'm going to take this um, dual ended brush. I think it was from the Urban Decay palette. One of them. And take this really dark brown. And kind of put it in my outer crease. And create like a V shape. Um, it's kind of hard to explain. But you guys can see it. Now that we have those colors kind of blended, I will blend them more in a bit. I'm going to start with the cut crease. So as always, I take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I take a brush like this. That's just kind of flat. This one doesn't have a name. but And then I start doing the cut crease. So I'm going to make this one even this time. I'm just going to go over that with the first shade that I used, like the cream one, just to set a base, you know? And I'm gonna do the same process that I did on the outside to the inner corner, and then put a highlight, like that shimmer shade down the middle, just to create that halo effect. So, it's just gonna be a little bit lighter than that. And now we're gonna do like that glitter shade down the middle, or like right here. So, for that, I just use like this little, I don't know what it's called, but I always use this put on glitter. I'm gonna spray my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray on this so it could get the glitter. 
fish. Love this. And for glitter, this is when we start to use the Kat Von D palette. So we're gonna use like this rosy gold-ish color just because my dress is kind of rose gold and it's just gonna be this one at the very end. I think it is so pretty. I can already see a bunch of fallout. All right, now that we have that down, I'm gonna do my eyeliner. And eyeliner is really hard for me. I've never used this product either, and eyeliner is really hard for me, so I'm gonna do it off camera, but I'm just gonna do a simple wing to go with this eye look. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> All right, guys, so I just finished doing my eyeliner, and I'm about to take off the tape, so let's hope it's being not too bad. Or else I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. <laughs> not that bad we're just gonna do foundation now and you guys know that i usually just do the sephora collection foundation but today i do have the fenty beauty foundation i'm just not that crazy about it and the girl who matched me i feel like gave me a totally different tone than what i am but we're gonna use this it's the stay matte longwear foundation and i'm just gonna shake it and because it looks a little light, I am going to use my Sephora and just kind of mix the two together. Yeah, and see how that works. And we're going to use a beauty blender. The only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it is super watery. I actually really like how this combination of foundation. Um, now I'm gonna just go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And you guys know I always do this, so yeah, we're gonna do that. Now I'm gonna take the colors from the Morphe palette that I use in my crease and put them on my under, I don't know what they're called, this part of my eye. Now we're just gonna put some highlighter and some bronzer on my face. I'm gonna go with the NYC. This is an oldie but a goodie. As you can tell, it mine's falling apart and I've hit pan on this. So that's what we're gonna use. Now for highlighter, we're just gonna use the Champagne Pop Highlighter by Becca. I'm going in with this small brush just cause I want it more precise on my face. Now that my face makeup is sort of ish done, I'm just gonna spray the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray that I used earlier all over my face. I'm gonna curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara so I can put on some falsies. And now that I have my mascara done, I'm just gonna put glue on these and apply these lashes. And if you watched my last video, you know that I struggle putting on lashes. Also, I am not a makeup guru in whatever thing. Like, I literally cannot do my makeup. Alright, let's try and get these on. Alright guys, now I have my lashes on. They are super dramatic. And I love it. Like, I really love it. So, I just need some bottom eyelash mascara. I'm just gonna use the Tarte Camera Lashes. Just because I'm pretty sure the bristles are small in this one. For lips, I'm gonna use the Revolution Lip Euphoria. It's just a gloss. And now, the makeup look is completely finished. I actually really love the eyeshadow look and everything so now i'm gonna finish up by just brushing out my hair and i'm gonna keep it straight just because my winter ball is not today and then i'm gonna get dressed and show you guys my outfit so yeah all right guys i'm in my room and i finished putting on the dress yes it is very very low cut but this is the dress it is from Windsor, and I think it was like 60-ish dollars. I absolutely love it. Like, it supports everything. 
The powder on it is beautiful. I almost fell. I just love it so much. And it wasn't expensive at all. The finished makeup look also. And then my shoes that I will be wearing are these ones from Forever 21. They're just some simple heels. They're not too high so I can still walk around and they're just nude. And I'm not wearing any jewelry with this because I feel like the dress is enough. So I also don't have any cute jewelry to wear with this. But yeah, this is the finished look. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked seeing me do my makeup, getting dressed, and all that. But that's it for today's video. And I'll see you in my next one. By the way guys, you should give me some ideas. I don't really know what to film anymore. So I've been filming a lot of beauty videos. I definitely want to do more skits. Like the one I have done in the past. But let me know in the comments and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Bye guys.